prior to the Milwaukee series, the Cubs took care of the Boston Red Sox at Wrigley. The Bow Sox. Yeah, which is doesn't happen often. Two of the uh they two teams that play in the oldest teams, oldest stadiums in Major League Baseball. And of course that became a topic as Red Sox pitcher Josh Winkowski, or I think it's Winkowski, something like that. Uh Kind of trash talk Wrigley Field out of the blue. Um, oh, after of course, mind you, this is after he just lost the game uh, to the Cubs. He might have been a little sour, but he referred to Wrigley Field as kind of a standard stock ballpark, nothing special. He was underwhelmed. It was his first visit apparently to Wrigley, but of course, the inevitable comparisons between Wrigley and Fenway come up because they were built around the same time, and they're the only two ancient ancient ballparks, but. I think uh, I kind of want to call Josh Winkowski more like Josh Luzkowski because he was sounded just very, very sour grapes after his loss. Wrigley doesn't have to be your favorite ballpark, but to call it a standard stock experience, it just, that's just not the truth. It, it, there are no other ballparks other than Fenway that are, are located in a neighborhood. Uh, personally, I, I find Wrigley beautiful uh, the amenities are now up to up to speed after the billion dollar renovation. You've been to Wrigley, I know begrudgingly you think it's a decent ballpark. Uh, would you consider it stock or standard the way Josh Winkowski described it? Uh, no, not from like uh, like how close you are to the field. I don't think a lot of parks are really like that anymore. Um, and, and 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 that's not and that's from majority of the seats is is where the difference is. Like I can go sit, we can go sit along the, the front row at at a White Sox game, and you're very close. Mm-hmm. But then when you're in like row thirty, you're 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 much further away because of how the park is built. Where Shallow. everything at Wrigley, you're just more on on top of it yeah comerica but, park's the same way it's real shallow so if you're in yeah. the 25th row you are way <clears throat> back so um the only thing i would say is like i wonder if he had visited it, if he had been there before the renovations because i wonder if it's like the jumbotron out there now and yeah, those I, things that that lead him to the comment I, but i i wouldn't I mean, I've never been to Fenway, but I don't hear a lot of positive reviews of it when people from Chicago go there. Cause that was my next question. The, the you you haven't are, been, I, I been to Fenway? The seats, I hear, I've heard from you. I've heard from other people. The seats are terrible. Like, they're yeah. super small. Um, I heard yeah. there's a lot of bad vantage points. But, like, being a player on the field and maybe looking around, you might say to yourself, well, what's, you know, I don't get what the big deal is, but from a fan's point of view, from someone who's sitting in the seats, it's definitely like worth a visit if you've never gone there. Well, I've been to Fenway twice, uh, once in 2001, uh, as Mike Messina actually had a no hitter going against the Red Sox in the bottom two outs in the ninth and Red Sox, Carl Everett broke up that no hitter and he got booed by the home Red Sox crowd, which was kind of amazing. Carl Everett is kind of a bizarre dude in many ways, but I couldn't believe I was actually hearing Red Sox fans being upset about a uh, Yankee pitcher uh, having so much success against them. But um, that was the first time I was there. I was also there in 2010. And that was apparently after some renovations had happened. Uh, apparently not all, but I've, I've heard the same things even subsequently uh, in the 10, 12 years since I've been there. But when I was there, I thought it was a dump. It, it was the, Concourses were cavernous, you know, very dark, dank. Uh, you know, a lot of what you see in uh, the heist section of when they're robbing Fenway Park in the town, one of your favorite movies, where they're in the bowels of of Fenway. That's that that's what it is. I mean, that that is that's what you see when you go go to get a, a burger or a beer at a at a Red Sox game. It is it is dark down there, and it's I didn't see many. Uh, shootouts or anything like that between fake cops and real cops and everything else but maybe um the seats are awful the seats are at least that i sat in in 2010 even were down the first baseline about 
maybe 10 inches wide. I fit okay, but my buddies are that I was with were a little bit larger and couldn't even fit in their seats. Yikes. Um, they also don't face home plate. They are basically 90 degrees from home plate. They're, they're perpendicular to the, the first baseline. So I was facing directly at the green monster and had to turn 45 degrees to see home plate. It, they were beat up wood. Uh, you could get slivers from them. It was it was a disaster. And this is supposed to be a crown jewel ballpark that everyone thinks is the greatest. I, you know, besides the ridiculous dimensions and everything else that I've railed on for years, I I'm just not a fan of Fenway. Um, and I think anytime, especially somebody from Boston, will rip on Wrigley, I will gladly defend Wrigley Field from those Cretans. Word Hole Media.